Let's talk about skill versus aesthetic based training. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Skill versus aesthetic training is something that I often play with in my mind because a lot of people choose one or the other and don't really combine both. It's not very often that you see someone like Ido Portel or Josh from Strengthside who have both the functional capabilities to move and master skills, but also the aesthetics. And the reason is because people like to really dive into one or the other. The problem is skill-based training is, in my opinion, the more important base training. The more you can train for skills, for movement, for doing things, the more it makes sense and translates over to life. Whereas aesthetic-based training is kind of, as Ido Portel would say, reconfiguring how to make muscles without actually figuring out the function and capabilities of movement patterns that would then make those muscles actually grow. So one of the most important things when you're thinking about skill versus aesthetic based training is one, why are you doing this? Are you just trying to get ripped to look ripped, but you're not actually able to move properly? On the other hand, are you just trying to get skills so that people can look at you very similarly to why you would want to be aesthetic and go, oh, that guy can do a handstand pushup. That's awesome. Now, once you start to play with the different thoughts in your mind of, oh, should I do skill-based training? Oh, should I do aesthetic-based training? Realize, one, you have weak points. We all have weak points. I know my weak points are my shoulders, my rear delts, my lower back. Those are very obvious weak points for me. And so I always make sure no matter what type of training to do that I'm hitting those points more often for aesthetics because I need to bring them up. And so a lot of times what you don't realize at the beginning is, let's say you're doing skill work and you need to practice handstands, hand balancing, front flips, back flips, whatever that may be, you're going to notice these lagging body parts really do need extra focus. And the aesthetic element of it likely comes in because you do need to condition that muscle in a certain way. So for instance, when I'm doing levers, I notice that my elbows ache a bit. And so during that period of time, I realize, okay, now now I need to strengthen the tendon, the tissue, the ligament. So I need to do more bicep curls at very low weight for a lot more reps in order to start to get the blood flow through that area. And the more that I do that, not only do they aesthetically look better, but what also helps is the fact that they are now better able to produce skills and help me on my movement journey. So this is just a little concept to play with in your mind, skill versus aesthetics when it comes to working out. Which one do you choose? Why do you choose it? I wanna know from your viewpoint what you really think because I have always been under the guise that, well, aesthetics is cool, skills make everything much better and really allow you to move around freely, feel great in your body and you know, focus on the things that matter when it comes to training but you may have a completely different viewpoint and I would love to have some open dialogue below. So please drop that in the comments. Otherwise, make sure to press like if this video helped you in any other way and make sure to subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.